The pandemic forced the world really to shut down early last year. And as we've moved forward to our new normal, a performing arts center in Round Top found a way to stay open and keep the arts alive in rural Texas. Here's KVU's Mike Maroot. Round Top, Texas has more through traffic than neighbors, but a certain quiet lingers over the ranches. For some, the tranquility of rural Texas can be music to the ears. And what is life without music? And where there's music, there's James Dick. Teaching the world in rural Texas. By being small, I think we are large. He founded the Festival Institute in Round Top 50 years ago. There's always been challenges, <laughs> but the, the past year and a half, you're so right, it has been an extraordinarily unusual challenge. These 1,000 seats in the concert hall mostly muted since March 2020. The arts have taken a particular hit because they can't, performances have not been um, possible. Jamie Moreau, a fan of the Institute, coming every year for more than a decade with her family could not enjoy the events here the past 18 months. Dick shortened the 2020 catalog and came up with new COVID rules to reopen this year, trying to keep people safe, to re-welcome students and an audience from around the world. On the other hand, I don't want to overdo and frighten people or keep people away if they really still want to come. But to celebrate the start of another 50 years of music and education, Dick hopes people hear a more resounding tune. But by God, this is, you know, this is eternal music. I hope, frankly, Mike, that it's the love that went into all of this that will last. In Round Top. I'm Mike Marut.